done on Watson anti-loose fasteners. All zinc plated, come in three sizes. I run from smallest to largest. Firstly being our weld on. This one isn't threaded like the others, but comes with this weld on plate at the back. I guess you would only really use this one as the name suggests if you prefer to weld it on than bolt it on. Great when you're looking, if you're welding up the rest of your trailer and everything else, it would be very easy to weld this in place and know that it's strong, locked in, not moving. Secondly, is the small thread, which is 25 mil. It's available on a long and a short thread just because obviously if you're going through say 1.6 or 3 mil sheet or say 10 mil marine ply, you wouldn't want all this thread hanging out. So we provided it in a short thread as well. Just enough purchase for you to put your nylock nut on the back, lock it in nice and tight. That obviously leads us with our last one, being the 60 mil thread. And obviously you would use this in environments where it doesn't have to be 60 mil, it might be 30 or 40 mil where the others aren't suitable. You can run the 60 mil through it. If you find it's intrusive, you can always chop it off once, it's in, once you've screwed the nut where it needs to go. All these locks are designed to obviously marry up with the whole set in say the tailgate of the camper trailer or, or the rear of say your truck. Once it, I'll demonstrate it with our toggle plate, which I'll explain shortly. Once it goes through here, you will then drop this down, locking it in place from moving. Quite commonly at this point, if you wish, you could put a padlock or a circlip through, because if this can't open, it's effectively locked. You would then lift it up again, allowing it to slide out. To discuss the toggle plate and washer, it is as I just described, also comes with this rubber washer. The primary purpose of this washer is that once the latch is installed and the toggle plate drops down, it creates a tight compression between the door and the body that it's pulling against, and basically it'll just eliminate any rattle that occurs.